Yo guys, it's the Professional Budget. Uh, today's video is going to be a random one again because it always is. Uh, we're still waiting on um, my jacking point to turn up for the side of this sill. So we've been waiting literally like a week and a half for that and it's still not turned up yet. Parcel Force, bring me my goods. But until then, we're going to do some butt work. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. As you remember, the side of the mini's had a bit of an accident damage in the past, and we have bought one of these. A nice new butt cheek, baby. So it's time for some butt surgery. Yeah. So I figured what the easiest move for me, I'm guessing the best thing to do, is going to be cut down this line across here, because uh, the rest of it upwards isn't too bad. We'll cut across there, and obviously the same on the car. And we're probably going to trace around it, and obviously give a bit more on the sort of inside edge of this, just so uh, in case I cut too short, and same down here, cut down there. And I'm going to cut down the inside over here, and then pull the spot welds off after. See if I can spot weld it together here. There's no point me trying to drill all those out, and we'll cut nice and neat down the inside edge of there, clean all that off afterwards. And like I say, because of the boot floor area, I'll have a look at chopping that out after we've cut this piece out. Uh, across here, there are some spot welds, we're supposed to separate them. Um, what I'm going to have to try and do is probably separate them from sort of like here inwards. So here to here with spot welds. There you go. There to there. Uh, undo those spot welds just so this thing will peel off. And yeah, we'll go from there. But for now, I'm going to drill these spot welds out. Uh, and then we're going to go from there. And then hopefully play it safe with cutting things out because this is a, one of the bigger jobs in this car and it's sketchy. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. We'll do them like that. Well, there ain't no going back now. There it goes. <laughs> I mean, I've typically, I, it looks like I've cut into that, but I haven't. That's actually how the uh, panel is actually put together on the inside. Look, you can see. A bit of a weird gap, isn't that strange? I would have thought that would have been one solid piece, but I've done my best to not catch any of it, which is good. Uh, obviously, I'm still going to have to cut up or down, or maybe I could just shape a new one to it, but that was one of the scariest things I've ever done, cutting that off. But uh, I managed to do it pretty much mostly intact, and then this doesn't look too bad. Once that cleans up, that'll be fine. So, yeah, one butt cheek removed. Now we've got to do an uh, injection filler. Yeah, get that butt looking put. And, <laughs> Obviously cut the boot floor out at the same time, but, yeah. That was looking scary. Now, this side isn't too bad. I have got a replacement panel for this side. I was going to do it because of this boot floor piece. Because so I imagine it doesn't look too bad. The boot floor, this little outer lip thing. So I'm going to cut it off about there. But we'll see. I can always cut it off the other panel I've got, rather than trying to do the same butt surgery and probably screw it up. Uh, we'll see how we go. Obviously, once we cut more of the boot floor out, like down here and stuff, we'll see if any of this panel's rotten. If it is, we'll do the same thing on this side, or try. So, uh, that's not going to be too hard to join there. Obviously, I've got to clean it all up and all that kind of stuff. This gap down here is way off. Doesn't matter though, because I bought a new piece to go in here anyway, if it's long enough. Any of us do seem to be. Obviously, the floor will pull out a bit more. I'm not quite sure how much, but. You can see it needs to come out a little bit. Whether this panel has been in storage too long and bent it a little bit, I'm not quite sure. What I'll do is I'll mock the boot lid up and we'll see and we'll judge it by that and we'll just push it in or out. And, you know, prop something in the middle to push it out when we uh, do weld it back in. It all seems to line up pretty well here. Not perfect, but pretty well. And again, my cut there is a little bit of a gap, but it should be doable. I think once we put some more pliers and stuff on there, it should squeeze that together a bit better. Because there is a bit of give. Uh, the line's good down here. There's a bit of a gap this side, so you can see the butt cheek needs to go in a bit. Like, uh, I'm guessing, maybe just more clamp there in the middle and just push and just keep doing that way around until I get the right kind of shape. And again, down here, it's pretty good. It does look like it needs to come down maybe a little bit, but it's hard to tell because there's been that much billy bodging done in the past. That's kind of success for now. I mean, the welding in bit will be the hard bit, but we got this done for now. I'm going to clean up these bits of metal on the edges, on both sides, on both the panels, get these stickers off. Um, probably try and mock it in a bit more, or just mess around off camera. 
when it's all cleaned up, that means that panel will be ready to weld in. So before I do all that, I will mock the boot lid on and we'll have a look how bad that looks. Obviously this bit here is going to look bad because of the, you know, the floor not really being attached there, but we'll get the idea. All right, boot lid literally taped on because uh, it's definitely going to fall as well. I can see it giving way. Don't just hold it a little bit longer. Uh, this is what the side looks like. It probably does need to come down a little bit, but obviously this is the way the car is. This gap is a little bit worse on this side, so maybe this needs to come down a bit, but I think once you press all that in, it probably will tighten up somewhat. Uh, this gap on the other hand is not so good, so the boot floor needs to come out to somewhat about there, which means this panel also, once it's welded on this side, I suppose that's that gap, but it means it needs to go this way, isn't it? Once I press this way, this will all hopefully level out somewhat. Doesn't have to be perfect, but just better. And obviously this needs to press in a lot more. There goes that boot lid, as expected. Luckily it's pretty duffed anyway, isn't it? And I've got a fiberglass boot skin. Didn't want to use the fiberglass one though, because obviously it flexes, so... Uh, I suppose I'll get a better shape, a better idea as long as I don't press it too much, but either way what we'll have to try and do is get this side squished in, tack weld them in or something, so we've got the shape and then we can obviously move this in or out, depending on how much it needs to be moved in or out. There we go, the uh, smarter idea was to probably use the fiberglass uh, boot lid skin, just the skin on its own, but it, obviously the table holds that on a lot better. So there we go, so you can see the shape, actually this shape, it fits a lot better on this one, surprising. Uh, we got that, and then obviously you can still see this side needs to come out. Not actually as much as you think. So let me talk about there. That's so how much the boot floor is basically squished in. And then obviously this will come with it, so it'll all sit like yay. And then this bit will obviously press in. That's the only hard part for me now is to get that bit right. The main thing is the weld, or where I have to weld, it's not going to be too impossible, hopefully. I just want to press that in. It's quite tight there, which is good. And it's there, obviously this is going to take some filling or whatever, but still, it's doable. I think I can do that. And then the same with here, I'm going to have to trim a little bit here or there. This panel is the one that needs to pull out, weirdly. Because um, you can see there's a gap there. Which is good. I mean, my new panels sort of helped a hell of a lot, because that was all squished in. But this will pull out. I can't actually put it in there. I'll chop my fingers off. You get the idea. If I press that hard enough and then tap weld it down all in place, it would hold. But yeah, starting to look a bit more like a mini now, at least at the back. Once that's squished in this way a bit, happy friggin' ho. Right, next idea, clean it up like I said, and then we'll uh, have a look at cutting out the boot floor, or at least see what we can do with that.